Hey everybody and welcome to part 6 of Wario Land 4. I'm Solar Warlock and let's do Monsoon Jungle. Kind of the complete opposite of where I am in the world. Right now it's a snowy blizzard in the plains of Alberta in Canada. So yeah, kind of weird. Also bonus right away. I'm not entirely sure what this bonus is again. Oh, this one. This one, what you gotta do is you gotta... You gotta be really quick. And I believe if you mess up, you have to leave. What you gotta do is... Not like that. That completely failed. You gotta time it literally just right. You not fall down the hole every time. Okay, that's really weird. Oh wait, I guess, I guess, never mind. Let's try again. This is actually really, really annoying. There we go, we got it. We gotta do it just right, but for our first amount of money, we got a free thousand. We didn't even really get to hear much of the level soundtrack before we came in here. Oh yeah, I gotta hit the switch again. Let's go. But yeah, see, there's the ending and there's Keezer, but yeah, you don't go this way. Let's go this way. So yeah, this is really, really rainy. Ah, uh, I gotta answer a text message real quickly, guys. I'm so sorry. My girlfriend's head and knee really hurt, so I feel sorry for her. And also, Warrior's drowning. Uh, if you guys watched my uh, episode 20 of Yoshi's Island, you guys would know what I'm talking about. But my girlfriend has a sore knee and sore head. She had slipped on the ice, so... Yeah, the gimmick of this level is those little croco dudes in the water. They don't really give you any hearts or anything, so... Or like the red pieces, I mean, not the hearts. So that was really bad. Like I said before, those enemies always get me. Like, always. I don't know why, but they do. Also, you can go down here. Also, there's the heart container, so it didn't really matter much anyway. 1740, not bad. We'll also do a boss, do the boss, and some mini games in this area. I think you can kill them, either by pounding them or by hitting them the right way. I can't actually quite remember. Well, this level's kind of weird. Like, it's a mix of different uh, power ups. But it is the final level in a world, so it's not gonna be super, super easy. No. At least it seems like I got the most expensive ones, man. Yeah, I got that. Okay, now let's hurry up and uh, shrink. Jeez, it takes so long to shrink, man. Also, where'd the enemy go with the horn? Oh, there he is. You know what? Screw you, bro. Hey, bouncy McBouncer enemy. Hey, come here, bro. Launching into the heavens. Woohoo! Oh my god. Right through the ceiling. Like Wario said, yeah. You know, for these enemies, you gotta... You actually gotta hit them from, like, really high up. You gotta hit it just right. But these guys give you a lot of money without actually needing to flip them or anything like that. Also, looks like we're gonna need to roll, so let's roll down this hill. Man, there's the uh, uh, CD. I wanted to say record again, but I'm pretty sure it's a CD. Let's fall down. Uh, this way, right? Uh, let's check down here before we go across. Oh, this guy. Hey, buddy. I like these enemies, though. They're kind of cute. Cuter than Mario's spinies are. Even though, eh, actually, they're not that cute. They actually have a mean face. They're very disgruntled, like they're disgruntled employees. Working for an overbearing Lakitu. Are they like the offspring of Lakitu, by chance? Man, I completely lost that in the water. Maybe I think like water's lava for some reason. So collecting a lot of these gems is extremely difficult. 
What the heck was that? Also, I completely let that enemy go off screen. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, another piece of the emerald. Man. Another episode of, um, Blossom Tales? The Sleeping King? Not really my forte. Like, it's a good game, but not my forte. And also, the end of the level already. What's over here, exactly? Ah, oh, Cupid. 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 Wait, wait, wait. Cupid's over here? Well, then that means that there's probably some other kind of goodie over this way. Come on, bro. Yo, Wario, it's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to your subscribers. I always get that accent. But yeah, it is Valentine's Day, guys. Happy Valentine's Day. Well, good thing I came up here first. So, one random enemy? Is that all that's gonna show up up here? Oh god, it's a blue one. Just, just a random blue one. Oh, I see what this is. This is long jumping. So that completely failed me. Alright, so I think what you want to do is you want to go... That completely failed me. There we go. That's worth a gem. Or diamond. Why did I say gem? Gems are what we're collecting. We're collecting four different colors of gems. Here I go. Oh no! Four minutes, Wario. Can you do it? Hurry up. Just like they said. As you guys know, so we're actually missing quite a bit of stuff. Also, where are we? Like, is this supposed to be a forest right here? Wow, oh, there's another one of the pieces. Forget how. Oh wait, no, I know how to do that. There's actually a secret. Um, right there. Yeah, the secret you can't actually see. It's really weird that you can't actually see it. It's one of those invisible walls that's kind of just there. Can I actually hit it from here? Oh, I can't. Pretty sure this is worth another gem. Or diamond. Why do I keep saying gem? So now we instantly have 10,000, so we should have the best score. And we just gotta beat the level. Destroy. Darn it, enemy! You ruined everything! Oh yeah, this part. Stupid enemy. At least these guys give us more money. Even though I'm pretty sure we don't need it. Gotta love these screens shifting as we go up. Alright, let's continue to go up. Oh yeah, and this is that spot that we've already cleared out, so we don't have to worry about enemies here. Remember, we do still need to go get Keezer. Wait, what? There's a bonus in here? I always forget that there's a bonus over here. Um, what do we got? Oh, oh, this is gonna be easy. Dude, can you hurry up and shoot me? Run from the arrow of our lovers. That's actually a really easy and quick one to get. Goodbye, monkey. Ah, too bad I lost that money, but... Well, we almost made it over there really quickly. Wow, sometimes I can make that. That time, oh god. Yes, yeah, so you can't die by going down too much, which is actually kind of a nice feature. Yeah, see, because now there's keys are up there. <laughs> what? I totally overshot that, man. Whoop. This is actually an almost 10 minute level. It's actually quite a lengthy level. But that's why I only do two levels and uh, occasionally bonuses in, in an episode. It limits you guys having to watch like a 40 minute episode of me doing like three levels or... Also, why is it that you keep jumping over that, man? Thank you! My controller allowed me to get to where I wanted it to. But we did it. Another emerald is ours. The final emerald. Which means we get to take on the boss. Ba-bum! Yeah! So Monsoon Jungle is done. Ah, oh, that's so beautiful. There we go, and the entire door is filled. 
Let's go to a minigame shop. And do Wario's Roulette, since we never actually played this one. Game starts. So you gotta match the face. So weird eyebrows and regular Wario face. Alright, so far so good. And done. Perfect. I think you need to get three to get a coin. So big eyes, little nose, big smile. These eyes. That little nose. And that big smile. Perfect. Oh god, that's just derpy. That one. That one. And that one. Yes. Oh god, what is that? Old eyes, big nose, weird lips. Old eyes. Weird nose, and... There we go, another one. Perfect. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure what to think of that. But there we go. <laughs> big eyes, hairy nose, and lips. Ta-da! We did it! Oh god, what the heck is that, man? Ah, failure. I don't know why I clicked that when I shouldn't have. Anyways, let's go take on the boss, Cractus. I wonder what he gets his name from. Being a crack-addicted cactus? Probably. I'm actually starting uh, an RPG uh, coming up after uh, during this LP, so let's buy the apple bomb. You know, an apple against a uh, plant sounds right. Don, don, don. Actually, I find the easiest boss probably to be one of the last two worlds that we're gonna do. Apple bomb, bro. Courtesy of Apple. It only did two hits. So what you gotta do is you gotta free him. And now he'll like a whoop. Darn it, what what you're supposed to do Wait. Oh, you're not allowed to hold down the attack button. Oh man, that didn't work. Oh great, now he's punching us. Darn, how did that happen? Like, you're supposed to hit him, man. Because that, that goo will turn you into Zombie Wario, which will cause you to not be able to hurt him. Yeah, because you can actually farm hits off of him right here. This is actually a good showing. Until that. And now he does this weird attack. Like, dude, what the heck was that, man? And there we go, we got him before any of the treasure was was ruined. Mamma mia! There we go, we got the crown and some chests. See, the boss fights actually are short on purpose. Like, you can't really do them really fast, but still. And there they go. There we go, the Emerald Passage is done. Clear! Is Wario fat or just really muscular? Anyways, in the next episode, we'll be doing the Sapphire Passage, we'll start in the Sapphire Passage, and doing the level known as Crescent Moon Village. If you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe subscribe we're almost at six uh 360 subscribers we're at 358 i actually thank you guys for that uh so see you guys tomorrow and have a wonderful day Bye bye